Hi guys, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Subbaraj. Another video session on HTML tags. In this video session, a few real time tags we can observe. Abbreviation ABBR, which is replaced on acronym tag. Originally, we are calling acronym, later, the replaced with ABBR tag. After that, when div, next span. And these are the tags in advanced level available, we can see in this video session. ABBR tag stands for abbreviations. So, for example, on your web page, whenever we are developing terms like HTML, hypertext markup language. For example, you can say in our mail systems, generally we are using ASAP as soon as possible. For example, who, whole health organization cascading style sheets, which are stands for QA, quality assurance. Like this, whenever we are speaking a few terms, that means of uh, like WWW, World Wide Web. So, these are the terms having stands for full form is nothing but we are calling acronym. So, acronym popularly known as abbreviation. So, previously acronym name is very popular. An acronym defines an acronym. An acronym must spell out another word. For example, I wrote some kind of terminologies NASA as soon as possible and graphical user interface like that. Now, it is a paid tag commonly we are using. How to write this paid tag practically we can observe. Right, we will take acronym. Just we can put on that acronym tag. I am saying acronym tag with attributes. Acronym tag. So, acronym tag that is all I am not giving any attribute also because local attributes are not there. Write acronym inside I am going to write. So, what exactly? For example, there is an attribute available title. I want to write hypertext markup language. So, whenever I am saying that HTML, write yes, you can. Now, once if you are saying that, again same acronym I am putting here, copy it and paste multiple level. So, for example, another one I am saying cascading, cascading style sheets, you can provide space also no restrictions, cascading style sheets and another one I am providing is world wide web w w w and some more for example there is a beautiful uh, acronym available for that that is we are calling as simply and we can say this acronym and that is only bootstrap simply we are calling the capital letter b like this and there is another one also available that is SAS and syntactically, syntactically awesome style sheets, awesome style sheet, style sheets. This is only very popular CSS advanced language, SASS, right? All these will try to run on the web browser. Now, just mouse cursor you can over. Excellent. Hypertext markup language, CSS, cascading style sheets, WW, World Wide Web, B, Bootstrap, SAS, syntactically awesome style sheets. What is the reason behind this? Why they deprecated actual acronym? Acronym is good one, but not all devices compatibility. Because of this reason, in the latest environment, this acronym replaced by ABBR abbreviation. So, just wherever acronym available will replace with ABBR with simple one, write acronym, just ABBR replace all with a single shot everything replaced. This is the latest one. Yes, almost all it is also same, there is no difference, but it is all browser compatible as well as all device compatible. So, acronym is the old name and abbreviation is the latest name which is providing full form to the particular initial characters, any kind of initial characters we can able to. Right after that, we can observe division tag. 
what is the div tag so div is nothing but division it is dividing a web page into multiple divisions for example if you are taking a div tag simply and i can i can divide my web page horizontally as well as vertically and some other things like for example first div tag information i'll show you so i am implementing their html styles also so div stands for division block that can hold the content of others that means of it is a container so we can write other tags also inside division means div tag so div is very popular as a paid tag and it can hold multiple elements and if you if you want to design a web page with a specific format we can go for the div div is a paid tag and same uh, different different uh, attributes available div open div close align is an attribute style is an attribute id is an attribute class is an attribute title is an attribute so different different attributes available uh, we will try to observe one by one div tag yes div tag with i am providing some attributes also right div tag and i am dividing a page into divisions for example div simply and once uh, div finished and i am not writing anything simple i said div close that's all and the same div i am duplicating one by one i want to divide a web page into multiple divisions right i i implemented only just three tags right i'm writing it inside d1 maybe it won't satisfy to you but even though it is perfect example for the division to understand just non non attributes nothing available just it is a div it is a three divisions available but if you are seeing like this it's completely okay it is uh, it is normal text no sir but it is not going to be like div yes exactly correct but we need to apply some more things here so at least div inside some other tags we can try to keep for example i am keeping a bold tag it is in bold format yes simply be open be close that i am giving for example another one i and i made very clearly i it is in italics format or oblique format okay it say that oblique also and br tag okay you can use forward slash better for you right so i said here the same kind of operation i want to implement wherever the div available i want to replace that yes perfect and i want to replace this one also right right replace let me run little bit more clarity regarding this so div 1 div 2 div 3 so now these div areas we can apply align attribute for example i am providing align is equal to by default left and we can say align is equal to center perfect and align equal to for example right side excellent right come to web page perfect div 1 div 2 div 3 so compared to example 1 example 2 giving some more clarity so we'll apply some more other attributes like id id is mainly for the java suite purpose of course we are using so we'll apply your style attributes also if you are coming with the style s yes, we can apply style is equal to background color for example i am giving hash ff9900 color codes already explained i need width 100 percent total page i need height only 100 pixels okay right and i am closing that simple i made and i am not doing anything text inside this is a div and the same style i want to applicable for the next one is this one center so once you are providing here i am giving for example ff and ff all ffs comes under white color already explained that and again i am removing this one also i don't want any tag inside and this one also i want to remove and i want to add here for example zero zero yes i made zero zero right once you are putting all the colors together if you are making maybe this example will give you more clarity exactly exactly yes this is giving a clarity so perfect division div one div two div three so it is uh, colors replaced is looking like it's not indian flag it is looking like that and you want to see that i want to add an image 
and whenever you are going there div inside we can keep another tag source equal to and a chakra means i have ashok chakra dot gaf right and width is equal to and same 100 pixels only i'm preparing yeah how, how nicely it is going to be we can yes in this location that name is not there yes perfect yes yes so my country flag perfectly displayed here so it's looking nice using div tag within fraction of seconds i i try to show that so almost all it is doing my outstanding job and we we can do the same thing and various various browser level we can try to execute that and i'll try to show you on chrome web browser and completely the information perfectly displaying or not we can just refresh yes and i made like this easily and effectively my flag using div tag not only this div horizontal lines we can make even vertical lines also for example this is a div i want to make vertical lines right i come back to here i'm removing this image very good i want to remove this this completely yes if it is available yellow right great and zero zero i'm providing so width i'm giving only 100 pixels not complete page i am providing 400 pixels then i am making one good property float left i am not putting this let me explain to you people yes vertical so previously horizontal i shown to you now vertical available you want to increase that width yes definitely you can do it yes and the same thing for example i want to see that and i want to use float right for this right nice so vertically available and immediately you want to do some image some kind of examples you want to provide definitely you can provide so like this this is a horizontal one vertical one vertical one you want to display any kind of content we can in real time industry if you are observing web pages advertisements are coming generally so advertisement purpose we are leaving some space there and here also and in middle we are writing some content so this is the best example using div we can do perfectly all these things so now we can some more and here here some more division level available so i want to display in middle some image and this is that is left this is right and another one i want to keep left just and i want to change the color whatever color available here i don't want keep that so remove this and once again this one width height float so it is giving left only so for example if i if i try to replace that so another 300 pixels i am giving yes it is almost all and it is, it is only trouble in the response websites this trouble is not available we can apply here also another 20 i am giving it push it to next line see observe and 40 i am giving yes we need to adjust there is no other way here just one by one slowly we need to carefully because it disturbs and another one point i'm giving yes and the two three points i'm supplying yeah almost done so now it is looking vertical horizontal one vertical one vertical one vertical one i want to display here something here something here something so finally div tag is doing a divide a web page into multiple divisions in effectively in efficient manner but nowadays in html5 div tag importance drastically reduced because in html5 there are the semantics entered once semantics entered it is using more effectively the displaying of the document structure then we can see finally span tag what exactly the meaning of span where we are using span is a html tag which is used for the inline styles it is working very effectively to apply the inline styles but when you are observing span tag with the help of style it is more effective and simple and more convenient so we'll try to observe the span tag how effectively it is working so span tag with attributes let me explain one by one right span so normal example i'm showing first initially right span open span close right that is available so span inside i want to put some in information hello welcome to nit nowadays technologies 
right i required the span let me and break tag also i am using because to come to next line just if i replace just if i am going to refresh just refresh yes but that is nothing to uh, color or anything effects are not there as i explained to you inline styles you want to apply here compulsory so span inside we need to provide style is equal to simply you can provide color and i am giving direct color orange and style equal to i am giving green color green as is perfect right and refresh that as yes, nicely it is looking so you want to you want to make it perfectly more perfectly means and i want to apply here background color bg color is equal to light blue then on the light blue i want to apply here style is equal to color white i am giving no issue right the more effective showing the reflection of the colors and it is in orange color white color and green color so like this kind of inline styles effectively we can apply using span tag span exclusively for the inline styles and inline style for example inline means what it is not possible cascading means one style you applied at one level means without writing those styles we can un unable to apply to another line that is called cascading not possible so it is a completely strictly inline styles we can say if you come to more clarity related to this and for example span level i am applying font family effective one we can see how it is going to be effective tahoma for example different different kind of families you want to observe definitely we can see those just semicolon we can apply the, some more things for example i am going to notepad i want to add this arial unicode ms definitely we can add and replace that now again for example you want tahoma right here you want to put that right we can observe that and again i am taking some more empty and i want to put here and save it refresh that and effectively we can see so that is different this is different this is completely different like this more inline styles we can able to apply with the help of span tag and again when we are coming end of the html tags maximum tags i discussed in the next video session completely we can observe what are the tags deprecated why they deprecated then we'll go to more advanced level thank you for watching my videos catch me for more videos youtube.com slash nareshit channel